Welcome to my YouTube channel, a binary of seven. Today I am going to solve the first assignment of fluid mechanics. Are you ready? Let's start. So you can see first question. The condition of no slip at rigid boundaries is applicable to. So first of all, we need to know what is a no slip condition. No slip condition means relative velocity between solid surface and adjacent fluid particle is zero okay so this no slip condition is consequence of viscosity so when there is no viscosity there will not be no no slip condition that is for ideal fluids no slip condition is not exist okay so this is applicable for all flows of real fluids because real fluids have some viscosity okay so, so when they are having some viscosity they will subject they will be exhibit no slip condition so answer is one it is b next question a control volume implies Control volume implies it is a fixed region in space. So, this is the direct meaning of control volume. Control volume implies fixed region in space. Okay. And next question. Poise is unit of. So, obviously, poise is unit of dynamic viscosity. and stoke is unit of kinematic viscosity so one poise is equal to that is dyne second per centimeter square if we will convert this into one dyne is equal to 10 power minus 5 newton second and one centimeter square is equal to 10 power minus 4 meter square so this will become 1 by 10 newton second per centimeter square okay so that is one poise is equal to here one dyne second per centimeter square one poise is equal to one by ten newton second per meter square so poise is a unit of dynamic viscosity okay next question for a fluid the shear stress would found be directly proportional to rate of angular deformation then fluid is classified as so according to newton's law Newtonian's law. So, shear stress directly proportional to rate of angular deformation d theta by dt. It is also directly proportional to velocity gradient du by dt. If this law obeys by any fluid, the type of fluid we say it is Newtonian fluid. Okay. Answer is B for fourth question. And a typical example of non-Newtonian fluid of pseudo-plastic variety is. So, if you draw a graph between tau and velocity gradient du by dy or d theta by dt. So, you will get this is a Newtonian fluid. So, example is water. And this is one more type of your fluid. This we call it is pseudo-plastic. So, this pseudo plastic example is blood or it may be a paint or it may be a milk. So, these fluids are also called as shear thinning fluid. So, that is when they get heated, they will get thicker and thicker. Okay. So, this is shear thinning fluid. Answer is blood. Ninth, five, fifth question answer is D. Next question shear stress in Newtonian fluid that is tau is directly proportional to this is d theta by dt. This is nothing but it is strain rate. It is not strain. 
it is train rate that is per unit time okay so that is sixth question is answer c and next question a perfect gas a perfect gas means generally ideal gas so ideal gas will never exist practically so answer is 7d next question eighth question one atmospheric pressure is equal to one atmosphere pressure is equal to generally it is one bar okay and this is also known as 101325 pascal or else 101.325 kilopascal okay approximately 100 kilopascal and it is also known as 10.3 meters of water or else it is 76 centimeter of mercury that is hg this is also written as 760 mm of mercury so for out of all this this is also correct this is also correct this is also correct but exact value is one atmospheric pressure is equal to one bar okay so answer is 8 it is a this is wrong completely 1 millibar is equal to that is 10 power minus 3 bar 10 power minus 3 bar this is wrong answer okay and coming to ninth question the predominant fluid property associated with cavitation phenomena obviously it is vapor pressure so cavitation i am writing here some definition cavitation means reaching pressure values below or equal to vapor pressure okay and vapor pressure is the pressure exerted by vapors vapor pressure is the pressure exerted by vapors over liquid surface okay so that is when the pressure is decreasing below vapor pressure so there is a chance of getting cavitation okay so cavitation and vapor pressure are uh, same properties almost so a ninth question answer is a and next question a fluid is one which can define it as a substance obviously a fluid is a substance it will deform continuously even for a smallest shear stress okay it is a basic definition of fluid so solids will never deform for smallest shear stress they require certain minimum shear stress to deform but coming to fluids it can be deformed indefinitely under action of smallest shear force okay so that is it is acting when the shear force is acting parallel to the surface these fluids will deform okay that is the main definition of fluids itself okay so answer is b and now capillary rise at 20 degree centigrade at t is equal to 20 degree centigrade we know first of all surface tension 0 0.073 newton per meter so this is for water okay and for water theta is equal to 0 degrees and capillary rise h is equal to 4 sigma cos theta divided by gamma w into d so that is 4 into 0 0.073 and cos 0 is 1 and gamma w is equal to 9810 newton per meter cube and diameter he has given it is 1 mm that is 1 into 10 power minus 3 meters you will get it is 0 0.0297 meters in 2000 you will get it will be 29.7 mm approximately 30 mm so the option is b 11th b okay and now next question the bulk modulus of elasticity k of so he has given in the options liquid is greater than a gap air uh, solid is greater than liquid something like options so first of all bulk modulus of elasticity is ratio of change in pressure over volumetric strain so it is a ratio of change in pressure to the volumetric strain okay so but we need to remember some values so that is k for air is equal to 1.03 into 10 power 5 pascal k for water is equal to 
टू पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स इंटू टेन पवर नईन पास्कल के फर् सालिड इज ईक्वल टू टू पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स इंटू टेन पवर लवन पास्कल सो बै अबर्विंग दीज वालूस यू कैन एबल टू स्टेट दट के सालिड ईज ग्रेटर दैन के वाटर ईज ग्रेटर दैन के एयर बट इन स्टेटमेंट लिक्विड इज स्मर इट ईज रांग gas is larger than solid it is also wrong solid is larger than liquid this is correct so and the liquid is larger than solid this is wrong so option c is correct that is um the bulk modulus of uh, elasticity k value is more for solids and less for liquids and further less for gases clear so answer is 12c next question uh, 13th question so an amount of glycerin volume volume v is equal to 1 cubic meter that is meter cube when pressure p is equal to 120 kpa if the pressure is increased for, increased to 400 kpa determine change in volume so that is change in volume and bulk modulus is given as 4.52 kpa we already know relationship between k and dp by dv by v so k value 4.52 mega giga giga pascal giga pascal means it is 10 power 9 pascal and pressure is equal to 400 minus 120 he has given it is kilo means 1000 kilo pascal and what he was asked it is dv by v v is equal to 1 meter cube so now change in volume dv is equal to uh, 280 into 1000 divided by 4.52 into 10 power 9 so you will get change in volume dv is equal to 6.194 into 10 power minus 5 meter cube so if i will convert this meter cube into centimeter cube you will get 61.94 centimeter cube clear so that's why i have written the answer is 61.94 so this type of for this question he has not mentioned any objectives okay you need to enter the value very properly so you may enter like uh, 619.4 or 6.194 so those are all wrong answers so it will be 61.94 is the correct answer next question a 100 kg plate is resting on very thin film that is it is a floor and there is some oil this oil has viscosity mu is equal to 0.652 determine force required to to be applied at the center of the plate over a thin constant this velocity v here it is 0.2 meter per second and assume oil thickness here thickness is equal to that is y is equal to 0.1 mm and the velocity here he ha, he mentioned that the velocity is linear so this is linear okay so the bottom this bottom has an area 0.75 meter square and you know the relation tau is equal to mu du by dy so tau is equal to force by area that is equal to mu du by dy so we need to calculate how much force for and area he has given 0.75 and mu is equal to he, he has given it in dyne so 0.1 into 0.652 that is 1 dyne second per centimeter square is equal to 0.1 newton second per meter square so that's why i multiplied here it is 0.1 into du means it is velocity 0.2 dy is it is thickness 0.1 into 10 power minus 3 so the only thing is f f you will get it is 97.8 newton so that is the answer actually he has not mentioned in which units we need to substitute the yeah he has given p in newtons okay we need to substitute it is not in kilo newtons we need to substitute the p value or force value so it is p let it be p he is the force clear 97.8 is the correct answer and last question for this assignment is a vertical clean gas tube of uniform bore is used as a piezometer for measuring the pressure of a liquid at a point so the liquid has mass density so that is mass density rho is equal to 1530 kg per meter cube and surface tension sigma is equal to 0.06 newton per meter in contact with air for liquid angle of contact is zero 
okay and capillary rise should not exceed 2 mm calculate minimum diameter in mm okay obviously this is a problem related to capillary rise we know formula h is equal to 4 sigma cos theta divided by rho g d so h e value has given it is 2 into 10 power minus 3 that is 2 mm 4 into sigma value 0 0.06 cos theta theta value he has given it is 0 so cos theta is 1 and rho is the density of fluid he already given the data 1530 g is equal to 9.81 and d so d we get it is 7.99 into 10 power minus 3 meters okay if we will multiply 8000 you will get it is in meters sorry in mm so 7.99 mm so that is diameter d is equal to 8 mm clear samajaya so this is the last question for this assignment uh, and this is the first assignment i am giving detailed solution for each and every problem in this assignment there are some uh, fill in the blanks that is this type of questions you can uh, see in gate exam okay so gate exam consists mostly this type of questions only okay so if you have any doubt please post your comment at the below okay thank you